Hello everyone, so great to be here. Thanks for joining us. Uh, my name is Liam Millward. I'm one of the founders and CEO of Instant. Great to be back at Grow LA. I was here last year. We were a significantly smaller company uh, and so great to see so many familiar faces uh, in the audience. Uh, I started Instant when I was 17, four years ago uh, in Australia since then. And even since January alone, we've onboarded around 500 new brands just this year. Uh, and so we're growing incredibly quickly. Uh, so great to see so many of our, our great customers in the audience. And particularly awesome to be joined here uh, with Sean from Lilo. Uh, they're an incredible activewear brand uh, based out of Australia, growing incredibly quickly. Uh, so maybe let's start there with a, with a bit of an intro. Yeah, sure. Thank you for having me. Uh, all the way from Australia, fighting the jet lag at the moment, but we'll get there. So yeah, I launched uh, Lilo, a women's active wear label out in Australia in 2019 from a spare bedroom of my parents' house. And we've bootstrapped the business. And within the first two years, we hit seven figures. And now this year, we're on track to hit over 10 million in revenue. So something that we're very proud of. I love it. And where, where, I mean, where did you first hear about Instant? I think that's important context to kind of share as well. Uh, so it was through a referral from a mutual business owner out in Australia, which is really cool. And before we kind of dive into, uh, but before we kind of dive into Instant and, and, and what Instant does and how it's kind of driven so much revenue for, for your business, mm -hmm. um, I think the, the most common thing that, you know, you speak to so many retailers, et cetera, um, is that, you know, we've got so much on our plate where we've got so many projects already ongoing. What's kind of your philosophy or thoughts around trying new things for the first time? And uh, I guess, how do you approach business from, from that perspective? Yeah, for sure. It can be pretty overwhelming as like a small business owner trying to decide where to place your bets. Um, but I think you have to constantly be testing new things and seeing what works, but also cutting through the fluff and the noise because we're often sold the dream in e-commerce. So it's really finding, you know, what's legit and what's actually going to get you a really good return on your investment. Love it. Um, cool. Well, great to be here. Let's, uh, let's dive into it. Uh, I think the most common problem that, that merchants have today and uh, and specifically uh, where, where we come in from, from Instant is that brands, you know, they spend so much money on Meta, Google, TikTok advertising, which is obviously one of the most important things. I mean, it, and it is the most important thing uh, for a brand to, to drive traffic to their website. Um, however, commonly, uh, you know, one in a one hundred people that visit your website today uh, only convert. And so this kind of raises huge kind of questions around, well, how do we just get more of the already existing web traffic that we have today to actually convert on our website? Converting two or three or four out of these hundred shoppers rather than just one um, has fundamental impacts to, to the business and is, is huge. Um, and so, you know, like uh, I think today, uh, this leaves the question, like how do, we, how do we turn more of this web traffic into huge advantages for, for the business? Um, and so talk us through kind of um, how you're driving top of funnel today and how Instant has, has driven value um, to, for, for Lilo. For sure. So we're definitely one of those businesses that you described that throws a lot of money into ad spend, whether it's Meta, Google, TikTok. Um, so it is so important that we kind of take on that challenge of trying to convert customers that are abandoning checkout. And I think we all face that challenge no matter how big your business is or how small it is. We all have that same uh, challenge in mind. Um, so I think that something like Instant where you can identify those customers really well and have your flows to actually target, like retarget those customers that are abandoning checkout is so important. And Instant has kind of provided that for us. For sure. And I think to give a little more context on that, the, and, and as you would all know in, in the audience, the common flow today is that you've spent all this money to get someone to your website. They land on your website. They leave your website um, and without converting. But maybe in that kind of cycle of visiting your website, they've added an item to cart. They've visited the website multiple times. They're a loyal customer that's come back repetitively. Um, however, you have absolutely no idea who they are. Um, and so this kind of has you know, doesn't give you the ability to retarget them via Klaviyo. Um, you're not able to, to bring them back to the website to convert, um, et cetera, which kind of, again, is just leaving all of this money on the table. You've kind of previously described, and, and we've been on podcasts, et cetera, together as instant being kind of like a fishing net that you've used that analogy yeah, before. Yeah, that's a really good analogy. So basically it is like a big fishing net that's capturing those customers that are kind of slipping through the cracks and it works so well. Like we've seen such a big uptake in our revenue from implementing 
implementing instant. Implementing instant. And what, yeah. what would you say is like, I think we, uh, the other thing is that so many, is, I mean, I've listened to a few talks here today and it's like, we've increased revenue by 17%, 15%. 200%. Like, I actually care about, like, fucking revenue. Mm -hmm. um, like, how much revenue, like, has Instant actually driven for, for Lilo, would you say? Yeah, so since we went live uh, at the start of September, we've increased our revenue by $122,000, which is massive for a small business. And just in the last 30 days, it was about $78,000. And were you previously kind of relying on, on email a lot or, or not so much as a business? We were. So we had our flows set up, but... Um, as soon as we implemented instant, you could see that the flows just started to actually trigger so much better. And it was kind of like half of that before? Yeah, yeah. So it's pretty much doubled, which is amazing. Nice. And so, I mean, and coming back to kind of the fishing net analogy, mm -hmm. um, basically the, the way to describe it is you have all of these shoppers that are visiting Lilo, so influencer campaigns, Google, Meta, et cetera. Mm -hmm. uh, so they're landing on your website. Previously, they would, they would leave. Yep. Um, and they wouldn't come back. Mm -hmm. But majority of your growth actually comes from loyal customers who are visiting your website multiple times over and over and over again, right? Yeah, absolutely. So our returning customer rate is almost close to 40%, which is something that we're very proud of. And it's all about just getting that first purchase across the line. And then like we back in our products so much that we know that the customer is going to come back time and time again. So it's just so important that we do get that first conversion. How do you think about that first conversion? Is it the most important thing or you would rather a customer that's purchased three times over? Oh, you definitely have to like put attention to retaining your customers. But honestly, I do love looking at that top of funnel and really getting that first conversion and then, you know, taking the customer through the journey and making sure that we nurture them and getting them to come back time and time again. I think the other thing that really stands out and particularly in this space that, that Sean is playing in, in female active wear, very competitive space um, and particularly kind of over Black Friday, Cyber Monday. Um, you're already competing for, for so much attention from, uh, from a shopper in the first place, let alone in, in such a competitive market. Yeah. Um, and so how do you think like being able to identify more of these shoppers that are visiting your website in such a peak campaign period of Black Friday, Cyber Monday, how, do, how does kind of being able to identify shoppers give you that competitive advantage? Oh, it's super important. Like you can't just rely on, you know, running a really heavy discount and like putting the offer on the table. Like you need to be able to identify those customers that are going onto your website, you know, whether they're going to the collection page, product page, or they're abandoning checkout, being able to identify them and seeing what their intent is and then being able to retarget them properly is so important. And I think something that we've kind of noticed recently, particularly with a lot of other brands, is the triggers to actually look for when converting these shoppers. Mm -hmm. um, and that's something that brands like almost are una unable to do today. Um, they're unable to track when a, a customer comes back to their website. You know, they can remember them for about 24 hours. But since cookies kind of got removed and all the changes with Apple, um, you know, after 48 hours, a shopper comes back two weeks later, a year later, you have absolutely no idea who they are. And so because of this, you're unable to trigger emails like, well, they've visited my website multiple times. That's a really high engaged shopper. Mm -hmm. um, or they've added an item to the cart previously and they've come back. Well, why aren't we showing them what was in their cart last time? Um, and so looking for these really high intent triggers is, is super important. I think specifically over uh, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, um, we've noticed recently that, you know, when a, when a merchant sends an email today, they'll probably spent, you know, wait like two or three hours before they send it. But I know something that like Lilo does and so many other brands is particularly over Black Friday, Cyber Monday, because they're able to identify this returning shopper, they're sending an email, you know, 30, 40 minutes later, capturing that attention while it's so top of mind uh, over that kind of campaign rather than sticking to kind of the normal timelines. Yep. Uh, and that's driven a lot of conversion uh, as well. In terms of like generating the the most converting flows. How, how do you think about that kind of today in terms of the emails that actually convert? Yeah, I think that you have to have a really strong like welcome flow and abandoned cart flow and make sure that you're sending out the right message to that customer, building the trust, but then also putting some strong offers on the table to get them across the line. It's, um, yeah, and I think being able to trigger more of those flows, right? 
So I think today, so many brands and, and commonly, you're able to send emails and send flows to, to the shoppers that you, you, that you know. They've signed up to a newsletter or they've you know, gone through the whole checkout process of being able to uh, giving you their information. But what about majority of the shoppers, 98% of shoppers that visit your website, you have absolutely no idea who they are. Um, however, they're, they're very engaged. Um, and so how have you kind of noticed the, the uptick in being able to identify more of the shoppers that are visiting your website is obviously really important, but then actually being able to send more emails, that's, that's obviously been a driver of, of revenue. Yeah, massive. And I think in the last 30 days, we've had like a 32x return on investment from implementing instant. So it's just huge. And I think, as you said, it's so important to be able to identify who those customers are that are landing on the website. It's, uh, it's really hard to know sometimes the, the emails that actually convert, right? Um, you know, just speaking to so many brands consistently and particularly our customer success team, the most common thing we, we kind of get outreached about is, well, you've got all these case studies, you've got all these brands that um, have I incredible results and they're driving revenue, et cetera. Um, but what are the emails that actually convert? What is the design? Is there an offer in it or not? Um, when do you send the email? How do you trigger them? What's the design? When, you know, is there a different email in Black Friday, Cyber Monday compared to Christmas, compared to normal? Um, and so I think something that we, that we launched recently was for a brand to be able to go straight into our dashboard um, and click generate flows in, in one tap. And because we have so many brands, we've kind of learned over time the emails that convert the best um, at the right time of the year. And so we automatically create these emails for a brand like Lilo uh, that, you know, it's completely all of their design, the messaging, being able to insert the products in, uh, trigger the emails at the right time, all through a tap of a button. Um, and I know that's, that's been huge recently in driving growth as well. Yeah, for sure. I think that that's one thing that I love so much about Instant is how easy it was to implement and onboard with your team. Yeah, what, I mean, what was that like? Super, super easy, honestly. It provided with like a little code, like a snippet of code, yeah. plugged it into the back end of Shopify, and then your team kind of built out the flows in Klaviyo, and then within one business day, we we're ready to go live, and then the next day, we just saw the results coming in, which was amazing. For sure. It's, um, I think being able to go live super quickly, and particularly in the lead up to, to such an important campaign period of the year, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, Christmas, etc. I guess you start to get to this point, what are we like less than a month out? Um, where it's like, what is actually going to drive revenue for my business? Not these kind of integrations that are going to go live in March next year. Um, what, what will actually drive revenue now? Yep. Uh, and I think Instant's been kind of a driver of that. Yeah, 100%. Like you need a quick turnaround in those kind of moments where you are wanting to get the results and particularly in the lead up to Black Friday, like we're putting so much planning and time and effort into it. So to be able to have a team like yours that was able to like implement things so quickly was great. Nice. And, and what else is coming up for Lilo in terms of being able to drive revenue kind of over Black Friday, Cyber Monday uh, on your side? Yeah, a lot of planning, a lot of strong offers. Um, it's crazy how big Black Friday and Cyber Monday is getting now. It's almost like two weeks of November, which is just crazy. I think brands are pushing it out further and further, which can get a little bit annoying, but it's a great opportunity to make a lot of money during that time. Um, but yeah, other than that, we want to start to look at expanding outside of the Australian market and start hitting the US market, which is something that we're very excited for. For sure. I think brands, obviously being from Australia, uh, I spend you know, half of my, my year in, uh, in New York as well. We have an office there. They, they, there's such a big difference between Australian brands and the US. Australian brands think they're massive, but they're probably like a small or mid-market brand compared to here. The market is just so much bigger. Um, it's, it's insane. Yeah, it's crazy. Like we have, what, 27 million people in Australia and there's like over 350 million here. So definitely feel like a small fish in a big ocean, but I'm ready to take on the challenge. Nice. Well, coming to a wrap, I, I, I think it would be good to go through uh, some of the results and, and wrap up with what Lilo's seen. But to kind of give uh, the, the final rundown on, on what Instant does is that we help a brand identify the shoppers that are visiting their website. Uh, brands have no idea who's visiting their website today. Uh, they don't know who 98% of them are. But Instant is able to identify between 30 and 60% of them. Uh, and by doing that, we're able to send more emails, convert more shoppers, and bring them back to your website to actually complete their purchase. Uh, we help a brand do this through email, meta, uh, et cetera. Uh, we go live in, in about an hour. 
uh, in terms of kind of the results that, you know, some other brands have seen, uh, one of our, you know, most successful brands here in the US is, is called Selfie Leslie. Uh, they're, they're growing incredibly fast. Uh, and we've increased their revenue by over 54K uh, per month. And, and that increases month on month. Uh, but in terms of Lilo, just some results over like the past uh, couple of, you know, this month particularly, uh, we've sent an additional 48,000 emails that would have otherwise gone unmissed, which has obviously been huge on, in revenue, uh, which equaled, you know, 115K in additional revenue uh, for- I think it's actually revenue. slightly higher than that. Oh, really? It's like 122,000 now. I need better notes. So we need to update it. <laughs> <laughs> um, Cool. Well, that's it from us. I think, you know, if a, if a brand wants to get on board, obviously this has been uh, a, a very low level sales pitch on, on the stage. Uh, but I think we, we'd love to share how we can drive revenue for your business. Uh, we can get up and going really quickly. Um, and if you don't like it, switch it off. But we've actually, with thousands of brands now, our, our, my, my proudest thing is that we've never lost a customer. Um, and so we'd uh, love to have you on board. And thanks for joining us today. Yeah, thanks for having us.